I'm here to take all of you through my season two barbarian build, which has changed quite a bit since season one. There's more gear that we can all attain right now through the latest update, some of which I have, some of which I don't, but I figure we're just gonna dive right on into the build so you can see what my barbarian looks like. Just for transparency, we are sitting at a combat rating of just under 2,500. Uh, if we take a look at the legacy of the Haradrim, we actually just got some of these right here. Uh, I think this one right here, brand new level four, picked it up today, but we're making our way through and all the bonus attributes are looking pretty solid. But again, this is just kind of how you progress. There's not too much you can do with that. Now, my skills and my attack. I went back with Frenzy. I decided that Frenzy, in my opinion, is the best. I really like it because it's a fast acting attack and uh, it's just Lacerate just isn't fast enough for me. Works pretty well. Whirlwind, of course. You're a barbarian. You're going to need to use Whirlwind. It's just part of what we do. Furious Charge I'm using instead of using Sprint. I do like the idea of Sprint, being able to run quickly through the map, specifically when you're doing Challenge Rifts. But I keep up with Sprint because not only does it Sprint, but it will actually stun my enemies and pop them up so I can then Whirlwind on them or use my cleave attack which i also like i like cleave because it legit drops the most damage per strike on your enemies you have just under 7,000 damage and then bleeding for another two and change damage over three seconds and you get three charges of this now i could use the uh, hammer of the ancients and then get the my like angels or whatever they're called to fight alongside me which would over time deal more damage but i just like cleave i can go into a mob i can whirlwind suck them all in cleave 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 and then just whirlwind them all dead it works out really nice and of course wrath of the berserker this is going to rage up your barbarian and just do more damage and more speed as well which i actually do love but we're going to take a look even more deeply here i want to show you some of my set items so far and really only two of them matter that is not one of them this this one also is not one of them but when we have Grace of the Flagellant. Notice we do have this unlocked for the extra 15% ground damage. Um, the goal is to get that unlocked. You want to get that more damage. We have it from the top and from uh, the uh, bottom. So we have Slit Throat, which is helping our Flagellant. And we have the Hands, Bloody Hand. The goal is to get all of the Flagellant, at least for now. That is the initial goal. But let's go through our gear before I show everything in action. And by the way, my charm has not changed. I've imbued this thing probably five, maybe six times and have yet to be able to get myself another barbarian skill. How badly I want cleave or furious charge, something to do with one of those. I don't use grab. So that actually is not helping me whatsoever, at least not right now. All right, let's take a look at the headpiece. We have lasting hate. Lasting Hate is going to give us Wrath of the Berserker duration increase by 30%. Very important. You need to get that raged up Wrath of the Berserker. And inside of this, we are using Berserker's Eye. This is going to increase all damage you deal by 8% and increases your critical hit chance by 1%. Now, this one right here is a one-star gem. I've only leveled it up to five because I'm trying to level up some of my or two out of five or three out of five-star gems along the way. Uh, yeah, so let's get into our chest piece now i hear there's a new chest piece that i don't yet have that can actually increase your world win by another 10 percent that's something you're going to want to look out for but we're using the gathering which is going to pull in all of the enemies that you have that use when you use whirlwind really important Re legendary skill whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages huge right there we're rocking the phoenix ashes three out of five stars haven't even leveled it up right yet and this is essentially going to save you from death. Remember, guys, if you don't have any of these five-star gems, there are plenty of one-star gems that you can utilize that are going to really help out your Barbarian build as well. I could show you that later on in the video. If I forget to, though, ask me in the comments and I will respond. Let's take a look at the pants, which we actually just picked up in Keon's Ordeal. I just gri grabbed these. Screaming Fury. It's a triple stat, uh, which is awesome. I have the two, the, the level two, three out of five star echoing shade which is going to essentially make a second barbarian that fights alongside me from time to time 
at your attacks of a 15% chance to summon a shadow clone for 10 seconds that gains some of your abilities. Love it. Right now, this also has the legendary ability. Furious Charge now charges to a location, damages all nearby enemies, lock, knocking them in the air, also increases maximum charge to two. So this is my progression, which will you, you will see in some of the gameplay, or maybe you'll even see it right now. And that is me charging into the enemies. They pop up in the air. I whirlwind to pull them all in. I will cleave three times. And if they're not dead yet, I will just continuously whirlwind. We could also drop Wrath of the Berserker on top of that as well and just be relentless for my enemies. And that's what we often do. Now we have Yadama's Cyclone, another triple stat right here. And what do we have? This is whirlwind damage increased by 10%. I feel like if you're a barbarian, you're always gonna be using this legendary ability. It's just so good when you are whirlwinding almost everything. And we're rocking a one-star trick shot inside of here. The whole plan is to get gem resonance with all of my one-star slots. We, we're gonna get more whirlwind damage. We wanna get that resonance with 10% whirlwind damage. This here, channeled skills consume 17% slower and you take 1.5 decrease damage while using them. So essentially you're gonna get your skills for longer. Our primary weapon right here, we are using Eager Maelstrom, another triple stat, but low on the attributes, right? This is before I hit Paragon uh, three or whatever, what am I at? I, I'm, you know what I'm talking about, the third Paragon set. We are using Zwensen's Haunting, which is a shadow from above that drops down and just damages enemies. We have that at two, level two, three out of five star. And right here, Whirlwind Radius is increased, but the Whirlwind Movement Speed is decreased. I love this, especially when you're using the Whirlwind Pull In, when you're pulling in all the enemies, it just grabs more with a wider range and it really does damage brutally your opponents. And then you could just cleave them to death, as we said. And uh, as Winston's Haunting again, Beasts dropping down from the skies, doing super damage. Love that gem. And finally, we are using the Broken Soul. This is a two stat. Notice the 80 and 79 fortitude and strength. That's so you could tell it was from the next Paragon level. We're rocking the Howler's Call, a level two, three out of five star gem, which is the your primary attack is a 10% chance of summoning a uh, Spirit Wolf. It's an okay gem. It's definitely not my favorite. Blood -soaked, blood soaked Jade is one that I would prefer to put in this place. This would be the first of my five star gems that I would replace if I had the opportunity to. The legendary ability here is Wrath of the Berserker now increases critical hit damage instead of attack speed. Gives you more damage. That's important and it is worth using. So those are the gems and those are the pieces of gear. Now remember, anywhere that I can, I'm going to insert Tourmaline. This is going to directly increase the damage that I do to my enemies. If there's a socket where I could put a red or a pink gem, not legendary gem, just a regular gem, you know it's gonna be Tourmaline. And Paragon Tree. I just put out a video on how I am using the Gladiator Tree, how I switched over to it when I went up in Paragon, and how I love it. If you wanna see my overall Paragon Tree for the Barbarian build, because it goes into Gladiator, Vanquisher as well, it's gonna dip into Survivor and Treasure Hunter as well, but right now the bonus attributes are 1100 on damage, 4000 on life, armor pen and resistance are only a little bit. I really don't spend too much time in those areas. My Heliquary is upgraded to level 18. Obviously you're gonna level this up as quickly as you can. We do have the plus 30 combat rating, plus 30 combat rating, each of these. The, uh, we have the Frozen Wing of Vatath and the Shivering Death, if you ever will take her down, and the Severed Hand of LaSalle Flame Spun. That's where I'm at here. You could be in a very different place. Let's jump into a challenge rift just to see my Barbarian in action. All right, we're at the final boss right now, and uh, Vriss, we're gonna take him down. Cleaves like crazy, just tons of ways to throw damage right here. We need to get a little bit of health though, got some. Anytime that my cleave becomes available, I use it. Also, you keep your attack running while you're doing cleaves. So with my attack, it gains speed over time, but I could sneak, it, I could sneak in a cleave and it won't slow me down. Check it out, B cleave still going full speed and we are about up oh, i got i got jammed up we're about to take this down 
Boom. And we get the upgraded Paragon to Paragon 95. We're grabbing the rewards. We're grabbing the health. I hope you enjoyed my Barbarian build today. Let me know how you have your Barbarians built. And remember, every single season, which is essentially every month, we're bringing out new builds for all of the classes in Diablo Immortal. Yours could be next. Make sure you sub and ring the bell. I'll see you in the next video. Now be good.